partially open. <laughs> it's instant. Welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Alexis, and this is your Priority One Fitness Show. So, you've been with us in previous seasons. You know that we're always stepping it up, learning, learning new stuff. Well, this season is something completely different than we've done before. We're going to do some basic warm-up stuff that you already know, so you can be thankful for that. But we're looking at learning martial arts cardio this season. So I'm going to take it a little easy on you here at first, in the first few weeks as we get to know this program. We're going to learn about kickboxing moves, a lot of punching moves. Remember, listen to your body before you listen to me. You see I've got my handy water bottle, so take your breaks when you need to. And this is more about precision and making sure that you feel balanced and that those moves are done correctly than going fast. You can always add speed in later in the game. All right, you ready to start that simple march? That we know how to do, right? We know that that march has our shoulders up and back, spine is tall and proud, and those heels are hitting the floor every chance you get. So we're gonna march it up a handful of times while you listen to all my hot air. Meet me at the TV. We're taking a three or four step move forward and we're gonna move it back. All right, we're immediately gonna move it right back up and right back into place. And for this, we're gonna have those feet in the air when we think about kickboxing and martial arts cardio. So make sure that you don't have any chairs or, or a, you know, living room table or any kids around you. Make sure you got a good sized personal bubble. Okay, and now we're gonna think about some easy stuff. We're gonna start out with some moves again that you know. So let's do that wide stomp. Now when I say wide stomp, I'm gonna take my right foot out and in. We're gonna warm up the, the thighs, the, the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the hips. Follow me when you're ready. I'm gonna take that right foot out in three, two, one, and out and in. Now notice I'm taking that hip down like I'm sitting in a chair. And out and in and out and in. Right, left, right, left. Like you're sitting down. Put those hips down and back behind you. Let's do about four more, three more, two to go. And let's march it tall right here. As always, what we do on one side, we do on the other. So let's take it over to the opposite side in three, two, one, and have a seat. And try to keep your spine straight, lowering through your hips. Try not to bend to the side in your spine as you go through this. Keep your spine upright. All right, what do you say we do? Four more, three more. Pick that opposite knee up right here. Last one. Okay, open up those feet a little bit, keep it marching, and we're going to keep one foot, one heel on the floor while we kick the other one back and warm up the glutes or the rear end and the hamstring. Kick it back and back and back. Now you'll notice my knee points toward the floor, and I work to keep the front of the hip pretty much flat. I don't want to bring the knee up in front. I want to kick that heel back toward the rear end, and you'll see from behind me I've got my heel flat. All right, touch the other heel down. Try not to stay up on your toes on the foot that is on the ground. And let's warm up the arms. Simple bicep curl. Elbows are down and low, close to your waist. And we're teeter-tottering foot to foot. And again, remember, control here. Always thinking about control. Try not to move that spine too much, meaning that we're not bending to the side. Four more. Three. Two. One, okay, relax those arms, keep kicking back. Let's warm up the muscles in the back of the arm, the postural muscles, excuse me, in the back, of, uh, the, when I say back of the arm, we're thinking the back of the arm, but also up against the spine. Okay, reach toward me, let's pull some ropes, back, back. I'm pulling as I'm kicking. Heel back, elbows back simultaneously. And pull, try to get the elbows behind your body, and the hands come directly toward your waist. Four more, three, two, one. Okay, bring those elbows up and keep kicking. Round the arms, let's open the cabinet. Back, back, back. You're pulling those elbows and you're squeezing your spine as the elbows come back. Four, three, two, one. Okay, relax those arms and swing them out a little bit. Keep your toe on the floor, push up through the opposite foot. 
we're gonna bring the knee up in front of the body. Okay, keep those feet wide, knee up, up, up. I have the opposite heel on the floor. Pull on it up, try and keep that stance wide. So as the knee comes up, keep your abdominal section tight. Let's press down, down. We're gonna warm up those arms a little more, warm up the chest a little more. You'll notice as I'm pressing, I'm pressing through the heel of my palm. That's gonna allow me, enable me, to use more muscles in my arm. So we're thinking about pressing through the heel of the palm, flatten it out and push it down. Four, three, two, one. Relax, let's keep those feet low, 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 and side to side. We're gonna do a little speed skater move here. I'm gonna start to bring that toe back and that same working arm goes in front of the body. Take the opportunity here to squeeze your waist. Use as many muscles as you can. Tap the toe behind the body. And as you swing those arms, swing them only up to shoulder height. Be nice to that shoulder. It's got a lot of work to do in a day. All right, sitting back on those hips. Let's walk it up a few paces. Good, and take it back. Good, all right, one more time. Couple paces up toward me. And a couple back to your original spot. Keep it right here. Palms are down as you pull that shoulder up. Five and four, three, two. Relax those arms and instep to instep on the feet. Instep to instep, good. All right, let's give the arms a break. Now we're gonna think about heel, heel, heel. Okay, we're tapping that heel in front. Again, a few more leg muscles involved in a heel tap than in a regular side to side. Arms are low, let's pull, pull, zip it up. Lead your elbows up towards shoulder height as we warm up the shoulders and the chest. Try to keep your wrists straight. Four, three, two, one, relax, let's march. Okay, get a little sip of water if you need it. A few steps up and a few steps back to relax those ankles before we really get this party started. And up, and take it back. Good, all right, now let's take a look at some moves. What do you say, let's get this rolling. All right, we're gonna start with the arms. We're gonna start with a simple punch. I'm gonna take that, that march. I'm gonna mellow it out a little bit. I'm gonna keep my feet on the floor. Now when we punch, we wanna punch straight out from the shoulder joint and you're gonna take those knuckles and punch like you're punching a hole in a wall. So I bring one arm close to my body to take it out of the way, and I punch toward, toward well, here, it's toward cameras and toward our crew. <laughs> Hopefully you're punching forward and at an angle. So I tuck one arm and I punch with the other, with intention, straight out from the shoulder joint. Keep that other arm close, don't let it get in the way. Try to keep your wrist as straight as you can. I know it's a lot to think about. Easy pace. Okay, let's double it up on one side. We're gonna do two punches to each side. Now notice that I am pushing up through my heel. All right, here we go. Two, two, notice I bring it back in. Punch, out, in, out. Out, in, out. Keep the other arm close. Warm up those arms. Five, five, four, four more. Keep going. Three, this is a great song for this. Nice, easy tempo. We've got two more sets. Two, and one. All right, relax. March it out. Now let's take a look at those legs. We're gonna give the upper body a break and we're gonna start to learn our kick moves. Simple kick. Well, I say simple, but then of course I do this all the time. So when we think about a simple kick, we're gonna kick through the heel. That's critical because we don't wanna be throwing the joints into motion. We don't want it to be haphazard. We want to control it. So as we kick, I'm gonna kick through the heel. I'm gonna bring my knee up like so and bust a hole in the wall and bring it back down. Knee up and bust through right through that wall. Kick and in, kick and in, okay. Keep your core tight, shoulders up, arms at your sides. Kick, the, kick right through that wall. 
Notice the knee comes up and kick, up and kick. All right, give yourself a little room between those feet so that you're hip width apart. Excellent, okay, let's take that kick and let's add our jab, which we were just doing, that punch. We're gonna try and kick and punch on opposite limbs. So maybe it's left leg and right, right arm. Here we go, kick and punch, punch, punch. Now your job here is to try and keep your spine straight. Try not to lean forward. Nice and easy. Keep it right here, and as always, punching straight out from that shoulder. Punch me through the TV. All right, keep it easy. We're gonna do four more. Three, remember we're on opposite sides. Two, one, let's march. How's it feeling to you? So you know, of course, that if one thing doesn't make sense, if the arms don't make sense, or the coordination piece is difficult, stick with just the legs. If the legs don't make sense, stick with just the arms and march. Find something that works for you, but keep that body in motion. Okay, we have three directions that we kick. We have a forward kick, which we just looked at, a side kick, and a back kick. We're gonna take a look at that side kick. Now with the side kick, I'm kicking straight out from my hip joint to a slight back angle. And again, I wanna kick through that heel. So important, kick through that heel. All right, I'm gonna kick my right leg out to the side here. I'm gonna balance on my left and kick back and out. Now notice the body tilts to the side a little bit. We don't wanna come all the way down, but we do want to at least, if one thing goes in one direction, we want something to counterbalance. So we see we kick straight out, straight out. You should feel it in your hip and in your rear end. All right, kick it out and out. Now we're not gonna go, we're not gonna keep the tempo of the song because we're learning here. So again, notice I'm kicking straight out. I bring my arms close to my body. I'm gonna take it down a notch because I want you to also realize we don't need to go all the way up. We can feel like we're kicking a bucket. Maybe you're kicking a bucket down the hill. Bust down that bucket right through your heel. Tilt the arms to one side and to the other. Good. All right, we're gonna do about four more of these. Three. Two, keep those shoulders strong and back. One. Good, relax, let's march. All right, walk it up a couple paces. Let's put a few things together. Let's take it back. Okay, what do you say we think about some arms? We're gonna do our jab, and we know that of course we have a lot of directions we can jab. We can jab crossways, we can jab to the corners, we can jab forward. So let's bring those legs wide. I'm gonna jab to the corner, to the corner, and then front and front. Okay, that's side, side, front, front. Bring the other arm in, side, side, front, front, side, side. Keep an angle in your hips, keep your spine straight, and let this stem from your arms. Try not to move your core a bunch. You'll notice as I'm doing this that I'm pushing up through the opposite heel. And let's take it a little bit more to the side. Let's make it a little more dramatic. All the way to the side. Side, front, front, side, and front. Okay, keep it going. Keep that chin on a shelf. Keep breathing. Make sure you got that water bottle. Okay, what do you say? Four more? Why not? Three to go. Side, side, and front. Front, side, side, and two. Side, side, and one. One. All right, march. Okay, what do you say? We make a little combination here. We're going to use two kicks and two punches. That's two kicks, two punches. We're gonna use the kick we know well, the eat well, the one that's technically a little easier. Let's kick forward. Okay, I'm gonna take it down a notch. Oh, my microphone's all over the place here as I put myself back together with my wardrobe malfunction. Okay, easy marks. I'm gonna do two kicks. One and two and side, side. One, two, side. Side. Try to land those feet a little wide right here. One, two, side, side. One, two, and bend at the hips. Posture up, 
and bend at the hips. Posture strong and bend. Keep it right here. Kick, kick, side, side, five, kick, side, side, four, kick, side, side, three, kick. Keep those abs nice and tight when you kick. Two, side, side, and one, two, three. Done, march. How you doing? Starting to make a little more sense? I hope so. Okay, let's take a look at that side kick again. Let's go back over it now that those hips have had a chance to relax. And we have an idea of what we're looking to get done. So again, when we kick through that heel, we're gonna kick through the hip. We don't wanna just swing it out there. I want you to kick it with intention like you mean it. Like you're kicking a door down. Okay, let's start it up. Nice and easy. I'm gonna start slow. Bringing one foot out to the side, bend the knee and kick. Bring it back in. Bend the knee, kick. Bend and bring it in. Bend and kick. Bend and in. Bend and kick. Here we go. Now notice I'm bringing my torso to the side. And every chance I get when one foot comes down, I put my heel down. Try not to stay up on your toes. Okay, what do you say we add in some punches? We have both knees. Both knees have a little bit of give. We're gonna add those punches forward in two, one. Punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch, kick, kick, punch, punch, kick, kick. Like you have guys in front of you coming at you and guys to the side of you, you're a ninja. Punch, punch, kick, kick. I'm gonna take that kick a little lower. Make it a little easier for you. Kick a bucket, punch, punch, kick a bucket. Good, punch, five, kick, kick, and punch. These songs are pretty fast, but remember, you go only as fast as you're comfortable with. Three, punch, two, punch, one, one, and punch, and march, march. Woo, let's walk it up. Up a few paces, take a little breather right here. Three times up and back. All right, shoulders are strong. Keep it moving. Last time up. Okay, let's take a look at our back kick. Now when we kick through the back, of the muscles in the back of the leg, we kick through the rear end and where, where it connects to our hamstring, the back of the upper thigh. Now I got a big old pole here, so let's hope I don't take out the pole. When I kick, I'm not gonna kick straight back all of the time. I wanna enable, I wanna encourage balance. So I'm gonna kick a little bit to the corner. So take a look at the difference there. We have straight back and corner. All right, we're gonna kick through that heel, bend and kick, bend and in. Bend the knee, bend the knee. Bend the knee, bend the knee. Okay, here we go, back and in. And remember, it doesn't have to be high. Kick at a height that's comfortable for you. Make sure that your shoulders are square and you're not leaning too far forward. Kick and in. Kick and in. All right, ready to add some punches in? Let's do a few more kicks. Three, three. Bring that heel down, two, two. One and one. Okay, here come two punches. One, two, back, back. One, two, back, back. One, two, back, back. Now, once you get, whoops, <laughs> wrong hand. Once you get more familiar with that kick, you're go, it's going to, your body will become comfortable looking back down that heel. Punch, punch. Look back down the heel. Punch, punch. Back down the heel. Turn, punch, punch. Turn. Good, okay, we're almost home. We're gonna keep it right here with some regular punches. I forgot to tell you I was gonna do that. Okay, you all right? Let's take a break on those legs. Keep punching. We're gonna add in an uppercut. You've probably heard that phrase, but what does it mean? It means we're gonna use the bicep and the shoulder. I'm gonna change this front punch to an uppercut. Show me your guns. Up we go, up, up, up. Easy on those legs. Squeeze that bicep, same rule. Shoulders are strong, spine is straight. Let's turn this into two uppercuts and two cross jabs. 
Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uppercut, uppercut. Jab and jab. Five and up. Jab. Four and up. Jab. Three and up. Jab. Two. Up and jab. Keep going. One and up and jab and march. March. All right. Woo, we did it. Okay, now we're going to use a little move we call the pendulum. We're going to go back and forth with our kicks. Now, this is a challenge to the balance. We have only a few minutes left, so we'll explore this in another episode together. Right now, we're just going to take a look at it. We've learned so much today already. Now, we're going to kick one foot up and one foot back. So, I'm going to turn to the side. You stay forward. I'm going to do the challenging part of turning to the side. Now, when I say one up and one back, I mean one up and transfer the weight, one back. One up, one back. Through the heel, through the heel. Heel, heel, okay, up, back, up, back. Starting to make sense? Remember to find your balance through that foot, the center of the foot and the heel. Whoops, see? <laughs> As I teeter-totter a little bit, I get all kinds of angles I'm looking at here today. All right, legs only, four more, and up, three more. Keep your hands close, two, one, let's march. I'm gonna turn back to you. Okay, now let's say you're gonna see me from the front and I'm gonna start that move again on the opposite foot. So let's make sure that we switch feet. Now the opposite foot comes forward. Okay, three, two, one. Forward and back. Kick and kick. Bend the knee and kick. Bend and kick. Up and back. Up and back. Keep going. Up back and six and five and four and three to go two to go how are those legs doing it's the last one take a breather okay uppercuts up they go up up squeeze that Popeye muscle show me what you got spine straight nice and tall be proud of it you're working hard you're earning this Okay, let's do some straight jabs. Punch toward the TV. Go. Through the knuckles. Show me what you got. Keep moving. Looking good. Feeling good. All right, cross jabs. Cross, 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 cross. Okay, two, two, and two. Two uppercuts. Two front jabs and two cross jabs. Here we go. Uppercut uppercut front front and cross cross up up front front cross cross up up front front cross cross keep going up up and front front cross cross up four front front whoops I just screwed you up didn't I and up <laughs> front front and cross Cross, three more, up, up, front, front, and cross. Two more, up, up, front, front, and cross, and up for two, front. I am all over with this one, aren't I? Up, and up, front, and front, and cross, and cross, march, march. So you'll notice, of course, I got a lot going on in the studio I'm paying attention to here, so forgive me my mistakes. It just goes to show that it doesn't always have to be perfect. Just keep moving. You have three punches to choose from there. Do what you can do. Just try not to dig your nails into your hands. It's easy to get excited and get moving. Okay, let's do some kicks. Let's do two, two front kicks, two side kicks. Couple more minutes together. Two front kicks, two side kicks. Give those arms a break. Three, two, one. Up, up, side, side, up. Core tight, side, side. Let's take that kick a little low. Remember, start low. Doesn't all have to be done in a day, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. Kick low. And as it starts to make more sense and you find your balance, bring it up a little higher. Only when you're comfortable. Up, up, side. Good. 
Keep moving. Remember to bend your heel. Kick through that hip on the back kick. Right here. Good. Five. And up. Four. And up. Three more. And up. Two. And up. And one. And up. March. March. All right, take it up and back. We are just about done for today, ladies and gents. Take it a few times up and back. And always remember, I know it's tough when you're learning something new to regulate your breathing, but always try to keep breathing. If you feel like you're getting winded, take a break and get some water. Okay, let's put a few things together. Let's make it a kind of easy. Two side kicks and two uppercuts. Two side kicks and two uppercuts. Pick up when you're ready. Three, two, one. Side, side, up and up. And side, side, up and up. Take it lower. Side, side, and up and up. Side, side, and up and up. Side, side, and up and up. Side, side, up, up. Side, side, up, up. A few more. We're almost done for the day. Don't forget to stretch your body. This is a whole new demand, whole new thing you're taking on here. Stretch all day long. Lots of water, keep smiling. Three more. Up, up, side, side, up, two, side, side, up, one, and side, and done. March. All right, we are almost home. Let's do some easy breathing. Okay, side to side. Tap a toe. Let's bring those arms up, Woo. and bring them down. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here because you're here. Thank you so much for your support. I'm Alexis, this is Priority One. Let's do it again tomorrow. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And up, and out through the mouth. And up, and out. Keep breathing. Your homework is to go out and hold the door for someone today. Got it? I'll see you back here. Let's do it again. <laughs>